ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Miss Sensation. Today I'm back with more of this playtesting of Storybook Brawl. Just a reminder, this game is not officially out just yet. It says that it'll be out by summertime this year. But we just have to wait until we get an official release at this point. But in the meantime, you're probably wondering if this is the video where we get to play the Play Brawl mode. Well, originally it was, but then I paid close attention to what it is about this mode. It says play with friends online. And then for practice, we already wear that you practice um, your card gaming skills by playing practice mode with bots. And it's just, you know, it's just really, really upsetting. Because at this point, I thought it was going to be some sort of mode where we play against other players and all that stuff. I like what Hearthstone did it. And I think it has a bit of a ranking system, which is why this one, the Apprentice one on top, as you can tell by the pointer. Uh, I believe we're going to have a ranking system in this game. I still have my Pixie Dust and, and, and all of that. But, I have to say, I was very disappointed at Play Brawl because once I click to play, it, going to, it takes a long time to find a, a Brawl, uh, a person to fight against or with. But I have absolutely no idea what Play Brawl does, up until they managed to make a few makeover changes and updates. Speaking of which, they ended up putting a storybook interface as part of the menu screen, which is very nice and very organized. Because you get to choose either play, which is like you can play the game, or you go to collections, which I'm supposed to do that in the previous video. But let's just say something is up. Okay, now this game is starting to crash. Well, technically not starting to crash, but it ends up freezing every time when I click something. It got me really upset. Okay, so this is collections. I will not be showcase all of them unless uh, this video gets more than one view. Then I'll show you guys all of them. Um, what we have is we have heroes, characters, treasures, and spells. Which is like very different types of cards and all that stuff. But I'm definitely going to go through with them. But not unless this video gets more than just one view. But in the meantime, we need to go ahead and start playing the game. Because I do not have a lot of time. So, what I'm going to do just to make up for my mistakes from the previous video of showcasing Storybook Brawl for the first time, I am going to take a little bit of practice in practice mode. And we're just going to play just a little bit. That's all there is to it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is where we have to choose our heroes. We have Mortar. Then we have Pub the Magic Dragon. We also have Sad Dracula for some reason. And we have Wonder Waddle. But just a reminder, it costs either Pixie Dust to get these heroes or gems to add it to their collection. But I'm going to save my Pixie Dust and choose Pub. And if you read closely to the description, it says your characters with support give an additional plus two of attack and plus two of health or heart points, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to choose this character. And then we're going to move on to the game. So practice mode almost kind of reminds me of a certain mode from Hearthstone. I don't know if I ever mentioned about this in the previous video, but if I did, I'm sorry. So what you do here is that you choose which card do you want it to pick, but it costs gold. And then you also get to uh, pick up some sort of spell thing. Let's see. 
I am I am technically going to lock these cards because there's one that I wanted to keep. And then you click on Brawl just to start the Brawl. And then a random opponent, which is a bot, may I say, will, will technically uh, start fighting stuff. Uh, once they attack, you either succeed or fail. So yeah, that's technically it. So, next thing that I'll do is I'll pick this up, get him, get this um, golden chicken to be in a stronger level. Then I'm going to choose this happy uh, little tree. Then we're going to start the brawl. And it also takes a lot of strategy. That That's another thing here. You also have to pay cl very close attention because some of these card characters are maybe good or sometimes evil. Mm. I wanted to reduce the cost. But by the time when I start brawling, uh, it's going to be back with the original cost. Okay, so now my other bot opponent has a lot of um, minions than mine. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, let's try the golden chicken again. Then we're going to have the dwarf here. And that's technically it. I can't do anything else. So let's go ahead and start brawling. Oh dear. This is not good. <laughs> Already I lost again. This this takes a lot of luck, that's for sure. Alright, so next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose a Romeo. Then I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to lock that because of the magic research. We're fighting against Geppetto. <laughs> oh dear. This... There are other um, minions that will spawn another minion. It, and, and it's just really tedious. Not that it's a bad thing if you like... Let's see. There we go. I want to go with this because it has zero gold. Let me see. What I need is another golden chicken. Or I could take a second uh, Romeo. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> whoops, whoops, I, I need to see first. Uh, there's also minions that are archers, and they don't attack you like directly, like the dwarf and stuff. They just do, they just shoot an arrow without taking any damage. And it's not a bad thing if you have that card, but when your opponent has it, it becomes a problem. And that's just my um, opinion. So far, I'm not doing so good. So far, I'm not doing so good, probably because my strategy is not great. I did everything that I could. I could go for that dragon, but instead, I'm just going to get Romeo up here. Okay. Oh, I got myself another Romeo. When you get three of the same uh, characters, you ended up um, upgrading them.
this one would turn a good character into an evil character, which I didn't want to do, but I guess I have to do it. Alright, so let's just move on before I run out of time. I think I have a little bit of time to play one more round, but after this, that'll be it. And, and I also forgot to, to mention one thing. As you can tell, I'm not doing so great. I'm, I'm very disappointed in my strategy so far. Let's go with this. And... We need to get this golden chicken to win this, uh, bat. Not batch. Match, excuse me. I need this golden chicken to win this match so he could have a permanent, um, additional, um, attack and hit points. And by that, I meant their health points, excuse me. I'm gonna lock this up, and then we're going to brawl one more time. In, in my honest opinion, I could just quit the game right now. And by quitting, I could concede if I fail. So I'm at 8th place, which means I don't get anything. I don't get any pixie dust. If you reach to a certain place, then you end up getting some more pixie dust. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like that backfires completely. So it's time for me to choose another hero. We have Jack's Giant. Characters in your in your front row have two health points or plus two health and and then this is the one that I purchased with pixie dust win you start with knighthood but it permanently upgrades a character this is kind of tricky but I think I'm gonna go with Jack Jack's giant excuse me Okay, let's see. Sugar and spice. Let's go ahead and have the golden chicken here. Then I'm going to lock that so that I can get sugar and spice. And my opponent, which is a bot, doesn't have any characters or minions in the field. So I ended up uh, attacking the, their life points directly. Hmm... I don't know if Jack's Giant is good or evil. I would say it's evil, but, you know. And I am going to... Hold on. I can't even... You know what? Oh, I have to give it a good character. I should pay close attention to the description of the parts. That way it would be much easier. Okay, this time my strategy is a little bit alright. It's just, you know. Let's see if I could choose a good character. This is a princess mage called Cinderella. Let's go with her. And let's go with her. But I need to keep the sugar and spice thing. And because this person has zero um, hit points and stuff, that means that she's not going to strike. But unfortunately, all my minions are gone, so... Alright, give me a good character. Well, I'll take that. And we're going to use this. So, it can permanently have some more health and stuff. And I'm going to lock this just because of the golden chicken. Like I said, if you get three of the same minions, then it will be upgraded to be a bit stronger. And right now, so far at this point... So far at this point... I can't remember what I was trying to say. Ah, oh, that's because this character is an archer, 
which means they don't attack you uh, like face to face when it when when other minions takes a hit. Instead, they just use an arrow. Very slick, but very disappointing. All right, so right now my strategy isn't doing so great. So let's add another more of these. And, and let's lock this because this will bring uh, critters into the front row, I assume. It hasn't been a while since I played this game, but the reason why I haven't been playing it is simply because the developers have been updating this and trying to make it look as decent as possible and fresh as possible. Alright, there we go. So now this is going to be much better. Alright, so let's bring this magic card here, or spell card. Let's see. I need to upgrade a character. So far, none of these has me to upgrade a character at this point. But I am going to keep this one, just because it might come in handy. I better not waste too much time. Alright. Of course, they add another thingy thing. Alright. Alright, that's much better. This this uh other half of the not not the rounds, this other this second match is much better. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, so let's see. Let's get this out of the way. Then what I'll do is I will drag this. And I'll place this. And still no upgrade characters. I'm very disappointed. But let's go ahead and start brawling. And let's just hope that I get... I just hope that I do not get 8 plates again. Because I cannot handle it. Oh dear. Now they add other... Other minions and stuff. And I lost. I'm just very disappointed in my strategy so far. I also forgot to mention that when you click on settings, well actually not this one, I'll, I'll show you once we um, finish this, um, this match. So first off, I'm going to place this spell here. And let's see if I can find. I want to go with this because it will. No, I don't want to place this here. I want to bring the, the the donkey here because when I survive damage, it will it will summon a random character. So that's why I needed that. Even though it's the weakest card because it has only one hit point. Hmm. Let's lock this up and then brawl. Oh boy. Alright, so far not so good. I keep failing. My character keeps on failing stuff. So let's bring this magic card here. And this upgrades my character. So... I am going to choose the Fountain of Youth. 
and all my characters will have more health. Which is a good thing. Anyways, let's get the donkey here and Juliet here. Then we're going to refresh this. And so far, nothing. Nothing at all. But I am going to... I am going to do this. I'm going to replace the golden chicken with... Uh, with Juliet. But I can also click and drag this right here. Where my pointer is at so I can sell to get some more gold. So let's do that. And, okay, I got an upgrade. Which means I get another one of these. Um, let's go with the coin of Charon. Hmm. Let's lock it up, because I believe that she's a princess. There we go. We're fighting against Merlin. Let's hope this time this will be better. There's probably no guarantees right now, but you may never know. The only problem is that this... This right here, this evil tree has a lot of hit points. And my good animal survived. Excellent. Alright, so let's have um, Juliet to get some um, to get some strength going on. And let's go with that. And I think we're going to do this. And why not? Let's let's lock this up. And then we're done. We're absolutely done here. And look at here. As you can see, this donkey uh, adds another character, which helps a lot because it will prevent me of losing a lot of um, life points. And the fate, the fates is gone, which means they're eliminated. And now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click and drag this here. For the rest of the game, the characters in your shop have this. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see, is there any characters that... Okay, so this one, I want to upgrade her. But I'm going to lock it up for, for the time being. Or better yet, I could sell this and get her. Then I have to pick another treasure. Let's go with this. And there we go. I'm going to unlock this because I don't need any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and brawl. This may be going to be a long game depending on whether or not if I get ended up getting other than 8th place. And my donkey is gone, which means it doesn't spawn any other characters. And I lost. It does not matter, because I really lost. I'm, I'm really disappointed right now. But it's a lot better than the first match. That's me saying. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Hold on. Let's see. Yes, let's add one of these. 
and I'm going to choose this because when you when you would die, instead destroy this uh this treasure. And then I have to choose which uh, treasure should I replace. I'm going to replace this one. And then I'm going to choose that. Let's see. First things first, though. I need to. I'm going to place her right over here. Then I'm going to refresh. And I'm definitely going to have to lock this up. And I don't have any spells that I can get right now, but that's fine. I can only rely on hope right now. So let's go. <sighs> oh dear. And one of my characters is gone. It looks like I am not going to be able to win this. Even though it's very close, but not so great. Oh, wait a minute. Because of this uh, treasure that I have, which is the leech one, uh, I do not end up dying. I sacrifice this treasure so that I don't lose any, any life points. So let's upgrade this. And we're going to get the power orb. We're going to get the power orb. And let's see what else. I have to give a character uh, a permanent um, hit, attack points, and life and health points. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up a bit. Not that it matters because I'm going to lose anyways. It looks like Marilyn lost to someone else. Interesting. Um, I'm going to lock that because this might come in handy, but I guess it does not matter because I am, I am getting close to lo losing this, um, battle anyways. Because look at this. Sometimes my strategy is not the greatest, but I try my very best to, to be able to make it. So I think I'm actually going to be in sixth place at this time. Let's see. Well, unfortunately, I wouldn't say unfortunately, because right now I managed to survive. But I still have only, I still have only one more battle left. I, I still have uh, enough, it's not enough, but I still have only one more round left. And if I fail, then I made it to 6th place. Hopefully this means that I get some, um... Hopefully this means I will get some, um... I, I forgot what it is. Oh yeah, I now I remember. Pixie Dust. And of course, what this spell card does is that it gives a random enemy 12, 12, minus 12... Uh, attack and minus 12 um, hit health points, which means that it'll be gone. No longer be able to compete in battle. But it does not matter because I lost anyways. Just look. Because they have too many health, the characters has too many health, which means that... I don't know what to say. Which means that... They're they're way too powerful to get to get killed off by my characters. So now I made it to fifth place, which is not great, but not as terrible as the first match. So I end up getting plus thirty pixie dust, and that's technically it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, I almost forgot one more thing. They did edit something when you click on the settings. Um, there's a redeem code. When you click on the redeem code, uh, technically you have to type in the codes. But I think that only works if they're planning to do giveaways of a certain redeem code. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, that's technically it. That's what's new and what's um, updated and refreshed and 
being makeover eyes for from the developers of this game. And I have to say, I really, I still really enjoy this game so much. Because one, I love fairy tales, and second, I do enjoy card games, but I'm not very good at it when it comes to competitive-wise, but I always enjoy it just for fun. I think I enjoy practice than other modes because at least I get to be able to figure out what it is that I did wrong when it comes to the actual um, other mode, which is either online ranking or any of that kind of stuff. But I wonder if they're going to have a story mode. Because it cannot be storybook brawl without the story mode um, of this game. Well, who knows? But either way, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. If this video gets a lot of views other than a one, then I will do a video where I show you uh, the collection of cards in this game. Which includes heroes, treasures, and other uh, cards that are definitely types. And what we have so far. So until another time for another video. Thanks for watching. And have a wonderful day.